Hey everyone, Biker Chick here. How you doing? <laughs> well, let's see, it's October 8th and it is 87 degrees here in western Pennsylvania. Crazy. Crazy. Have a look. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to touch base. Um, and let everybody know I'm still using um, the powder adhesive on my top and cream adhesive on the bottom and it seems to work pretty well. I'm learning to manage my food a little better. There's still things I can't eat. Chips are still almost impossible. I just don't know if I've got them chewed up well enough. <clears throat> so I end up jagging in my throat and choking and gagging and making a big mess. Um, I do notice that when I eat, I am sloppy messy. My honey will say to me, honey, you got, and I'm like, I know, but I'm concentrating on chewing. So I'll get that in a minute. <laughs> so that's what I concentrate on. Um, they are starting to become a part of me. It's not a hockey puck, and it doesn't feel like I've got two big mouth guards in my mouth anymore. Um, I still have that foreign feeling when I go to eat. When I go to eat, I just want to take them out and eat. Well, I can't eat without them. <laughs> so you can't take them out. But the whole time I'm eating, this innate part of me just wants to rip them out. Just rip them out. And then just eat. But I can't chew without them. So that's when I notice now that I've got them in a lot. Um, it's getting better they're becoming a part of me, which I didn't think would happen. I still don't put them in and just, oh, voila, I don't even think about it the rest of the day. That doesn't happen. But there are moments. There are moments now when I'm not thinking about it, which is wonderful. I'd never thought this day would come. You know me, I'm anxious. I want it all right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. But that's not happening. So... Eating, like I said, is getting much better. I'm very encouraged at this point. Um, I had been very discouraged, but it's getting better. It's getting better. Uh, that's all I can really say about that. There's still things that are just too, too much for me to chew, or these. It seems like these teeth just can't grind it up yet. Oh, pickle! And don't you naughty minded people think that way. I finally had a pickle, but it was like the slicers that are made for sandwiches. That is the thickness now that I could eat. If a fresh cucumber or a piece of green pepper was that thick, I could not eat it. I still, I'm doing salads now, but I have to slice, I have to recut everything, basically. It has to be thin enough that I can chew it. And then I can manage a salad now. Uh, or like carrots, they have to be shredded, you know. Um, but I can, I can manage. Can't eat a whole lot still. My teeth, my mouth, the, the gums get tired. So I'm eating more than I did before and a wider variety than I did before. But the gums are still getting used to, to having this pressure on them when I'm eating. I still try to eat on both sides of my mouth because as you know guys, you have favored one side over the other for years and years and years now. So you're all, always used to chewing there, which means you're putting all that pressure on one area in your mouth. So try to spread, spread the, eat one bite here, eat one bite there. Plus that helps you manage and learn to use your tongue when you're eating and to move the food in your mouth because it's very hard to be aware of where things are in your mouth. Um, it's just very difficult. And when your bottom comes loose and you're trying to keep it in and you're trying to move the food and keep it from getting underneath your denture, it's difficult. It's a lot to manage in there and it takes time. It really takes time. So, pretty excited. I'm gonna get off the phone, or no, get off the phone with you. Once I get off the phone here with this video with you guys, I'm going to call my dentist because I am due for my second soft reline in two weeks, which means I'll be able to go without glue for a little while. 
I really hope to go without glue because I really can't stand it. Um, I know I'll have to use glue on my bottoms until I get my click-ins, but we should start discussing all that this month because it has been, it will have been on the 28th of this month, four months, four months, is that right? Let's see, June 28th, July 28th. August 28th, September, October 28th. Four months. It'll be four months. So I'll be due for my second reline. And I think we're going to start talking about permanence at that point. But I'm in no rush. I've heard so many stories of them not fitting well that I can wait till Christmas time to order mine now that I'm able to eat my permanence. Um, and then I'm thinking about, you know, you have to think about and I don't know if you guys have ever, even with your temporaries, I was allowed to pick out my color. And um, now the tooth shape size, I was, I didn't pick any of that out. My dentist picked that all out for me. I think, still, I like where my gums come when I smile. You don't see my gums. Not back there either. But I think my teeth could be a little shorter. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I go a little shorter? And should I make them a little more uneven, like have these two stick down a little more and make these ones go up higher? Or I kind of, like, I've gotten used to this, so I don't know. I still think I would, I think a little shorter, but we'll see. If you guys want to let me know what your opinions are, I'd appreciate it. See, because when I smile, these teeth are under this lip. See? That's why I think I need to make them just like this much shorter. <laughs> All right. Well, I will let you guys know what's going on with me as soon as I get my new reline. Um, and I will let you know if he mentions anything about my permanence. Um, I know my color right now is A1. And I really like that. I like it with my skin tone. I did this so I would have straight white teeth. And I want white teeth. So I got them. Anyway, um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I still need to do my review of Dr. B's products. Uh, I will do that for you guys soon. Um, but yeah, so subscribe. Hit the little bell so that you'll get my new videos because they're not as often right now. And let me know if you guys have any questions that I can answer. I'd be more than happy to answer them or do a video on what I... I know, which isn't a whole lot. But anyway, all right, if I could check out, see you guys.